Hey guys, we're taking a look at the new Blue Vivo 5 and the Blue Vivo XL. Let's start off with the Blue Vivo 5. The Vivo 5 is a really nice device, um, coming in priced at $199 from Blue, 5.5 inches. It's made from one piece of metal. It's got that nice machine design. Uh, you can see at the bottom it's got USB Type-C for charging data transfer. Speakers are also at the bottom of the device, uh, which is interesting, especially for a device at, at this price range, I have USB Type-C. Now it's got expandable storage via micro SD, and the storage capacity is 32 gigabytes. Again, for that price range, that's actually something that's pretty interesting. Uh, powered by Android 5.1, uh, what you notice with the Blue uh, uh, Vivo 5 is, of course, that the uh, notification tray is slides out from the bottom, not the top. This is also not running stock Android. This is running, you know, uh, Blue's Android overlay on top of this in here. Now, it looks, it runs pretty smooth, pretty well. Uh, it's because it's also got three gigs of RAM and an optical processor, it's a MediaTek processor, um, on here. Uh, as we go and navigate through the menu settings, you can see uh, it's easy to go from one app to another. You've got a couple of uh, easy space out menus. So um, some of the uh, menu elements similar are, are strikingly similar to what you have in Android 5.1. But of course, this is, of course, the custom uh, UI overlay on here. Uh, power management tool to give you, of course, extended battery life. Because um, even though you do have a big battery with a 3150 milliamp battery, you also might want to use some of those tools. So Nice big battery on there is pretty cool. Now the camera is a 13 megapixel camera, uh, shoots at 1080p, records at 30 frames per second uh, at 1080p. A front facing camera, five megapixels, and you have the ability to one tap control your autofocus as well as your exposure uh, on the camera, which is actually pretty cool and interesting. So um, that's something to take note. But overall, it feels very good and comfortable, 5.5 inches. I really like the finish of the Blue Vivo 5. I think it's something that a lot of people might find interesting especially at that price range uh, on there so that's something to take note now I'm not exactly sure if this is a dual sim device but we'll uh, find more about that later now taking a look at the blue vivo XL the XL is so similar in size to the Blue Vivo 5, but it has a few differences. One is the design. Uh, they call it a little liquid, liquid design. It's got that um, uh, finish to it. It comes in various colors, uh, champagne. You have gold, uh, you've got the blue, you've got rose gold um, uh, on there. So you've got different colors, four different colors uh, you can actually select from. Now, the, vi the display is 720p, again, at 5.5 inches. Um, and of course, this is when Android 5.1 upgrade Android 6.0. Its pricing is actually much different. It's priced at 149, even though it still has the same optical processor, um, and but it was running with two gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of storage on here. So that's the, that's some of the hardware differences you find between the Blue uh, Vivo XL and the Blue Vivo 5. Uh, you do have power management tools also, so you can go in and you have the same, uh, at least user experience with their new yeah, user, user UI on the Blue Vivo uh, 5 as well as the Blue Vivo 5 XL. Um, overall, both devices are really nice. I, I like what they represent, especially at the price points. This also has USB type C, also has a 13 megapixel shooter uh, with the autofocus and uh, one tap um, uh, adjustability for uh, exposure. So guys, that is the Blue Vivo 5 and the Blue Vivo 5 X, uh, Blue Vivo XL. If you have any questions in any comments, let us know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel and always enjoy your entertainment.